we are just going to take a couple of minutes now. If anyone has any questions about what we've spoken about so far, um, then we can answer them. Otherwise, we can move on with the um, main talks. Yes. It's a very good question. So uh, for those of you online, the question was how fixed are the deadlines because of potential class clashes with exams? Um, the reason we've gone for these deadlines is because we need to, we want to get through the process and not leave the candidates very, very late. Um, if a student says that they have exams up until June the 13th or uh, a few days before, then I, we can potentially be flexible. But if, if people will contact us on the email address, we can, we can look into accounting for particular cases like that. Any further questions? Yes. Uh, the question was how many students we're offering the scholarship to. It's three each year, uh, and that's fixed in place for the next five years, at which point we'll evaluate if, if the, um, the remit for the scheme is still valid. Yes. Yes, yeah, so uh, this scheme is, is only available to home fees paying students, I'm afraid. In the future, we hope to expand the remit of this scheme to a lot more people, but at present, it's only for the home fees students. The, the rationale for the scheme, the evidence that we have for the scheme is that home students uh, from mixed black and black backgrounds are not represented. No, we don't have that evidence for international students. If we had that evidence, then we could extend the scheme in that, in that sense. I hope that answers uh, the question. Okay, uh, one more question, yes. Yes, yeah, so uh, if students undertake the MRES year as well, they will be funded for that year also. Uh, 